What is going on guys? In the days later we go out to Middle Rocks, catch some mangrove snapper at sunset. Here's one, letting him go. And all I'm using is a little split shot and a circle hook. And putting on these greenbacks that we passed out at Skyway. Hook it like this. Untangle the rod. And just cast it about 10 feet from the boat. And the mangoes are right there on the ledge from the rocks from the bridge. Coming to there's like sandy rock under the boat right now. So gives us the best chance to not get broken. All right, guys, we're out here fishing for mangoes slash gags. I just got broke off using some heavier tackle than I normally would be. Chumming in some greenbacks. Letting it drip back with the current. What? <laughs> That's wow. until the line gets ripped out of our hands like that. Heavier tackle because the gags have been biting me, so I want to try to get them up. His bigger cousin kept breaking us off. There he is. September 1st. I'm ready. Got one on. Another decent one. I'm just using a little split shot, and two off circle hook, or three off. There he is, nice little mango. Then I just hook the dead one on like that. Using pretty tight drag because there's some big mangoes and gags around. Cast it to the current. Let it sink down. And we're going to hope for a nice mango right here. So I'm feeling my hands and it will start ripping out of my hands when I hook up. So letting it out. I just got bit. Drop it back. Oh yeah, we're on. Just like that. Another keeper mango too. Look at that. We're 
Look how red and dark this one is. Could be a little Kubera. Got another bait going down. Jess, that's all I'm using. Reese just had one. Alright, let's cast this one back up here. Alright, letting it sink down, doing the same thing again. Bales open. The current's drifting into longer rocks. And the snapper, we throw some chum in and they're subsurface. Waiting for another piece to go to one, so I'm letting it out. Now it should be in the strike zone. No bite yet. Didn't get a bite that time. Huh? So Risha threw some more chum in. I'm gonna drop right where the chum is, because that's gonna be where the mangoes are. Letting it sink down with the chum. trying to get me to the rocks to break me off but I have other plans and Reese is on too Reese with another mango oh. Try to get me in the rock. Here's Mr. Gag. There he is. As you see, he has some rock scars on him from trying to break me off. Here's another bait we got going down. Cast it right towards the rocks. Let it sink down and should have a fish on here in around two minutes or less. All right, it's sinking down. Oh, Reese is on. It didn't take too long. Another mango and another keeper. Look at that. These mangoes are pretty fired up today. Here he is. Another keeper 10 for like 12, 13 incher. Get him in. Every so often, throw some chum in. Then you grab one of those pieces, put it on. And Reese is on with another mango. His isn't as big. 
Oh yeah, another mango, oh, another keeper too. These have all been solid keepers. This is like a 14 inch right here. Another keeper mango. Should we call it or? I think they're definitely. 